warehouse of rubber gold. The thieves had planned it as carefully as a bank robbery, but one of them wasn't a thief. We didn't know that this rubber jungle hit a pointed gun in the hand of a man who had more to lose than even his own life. team in action, one of 27 such teams attached to the fire department of Los Angeles County. Five and a half million people in this area are dependent on their ability to act swiftly and efficiently in any emergency. This program is dedicated to rescue teams throughout the United States and to the men who risk their lives daily to save others. We will be back in a moment to bring you the story behind this exciting rescue. Keep the geography in mind. I want you to know the inside of that plant better than you do your own pocket. Ah, there's nothing to it. Now, cracking into that bank in San Diego, that was something. Cracking in's the smallest problem. Getting out of there with $100,000 worth of truck tires is a little harder to move than $100,000 in currency. You aren't happy to take another look at the blueprints, boss? What for? I can draw you a map with my eyes closed. All right, you do that. Mark every door and exit and window and telephone and every place the security guards make their rounds. Get the trucks all lined up? Yep. Only place all gassed up and ready to go. And uh, I got a team of drivers that could place the San Quentin in the Rose Bowl. I want one big, tough gorilla who can get up on top of that stack and peel off the rubber. Somebody that won't blow his top. I got just a guy for you, boys. Burger. Can I talk to you a minute? I got your medical report back this morning. The way I feel, boss, I could still go ten rounds. Strapped to the back of a CNI dog, maybe. This says your vision's unsatisfactory. You know what that means? There's nothing wrong with my headlights, boss. All the way in from San Bernardino, I never crossed that white line once on the way in. San Bernardino. That's where Tiger Thomas stopped you, wasn't it? Yeah, on a technical. I was ahead on point to a lucky left hook. Couldn't find him after that. Well, I'm no medic, but I've done my share in a truck cab. And this says you're unsafe on the highway for yourself and for the company. And that's the way it is. Am I getting the axe, boss? Well, let's take it this way. Maybe I'm saving your life, Rocky. Somebody else's. Put it away, Rocky. Didn't see you, Bertie. I know. I lost my job, kid. Hey, hey, Rocky, it's a two-bit job. Don't go into mourning over it. Remember that specialist guy you sent me to? He said there was a doc back east who does some kind of a fancy operation. Maybe he could fix me. Nah, take a thousand bucks. I'm even three payments behind on a truck. I know. I'm gonna take care of you, fella. You're all the brother I've got. Rocky, I'm gonna put you right under the money tree. Who do I beat up? Come on, Rocky, come on. I don't know, kid. Sometimes you get awful rich awful fast. Look, Rocky, all this job is is lifting and hauling, that's all. You can use your own truck and let me do the worrying, huh? Now, just do what I tell you to do, go where I tell you to go, and don't ask a lot of silly questions. Oh, you know what? You'll have your eyes fixed up better than new. Okay? Okay, kid. Now, boy. Now, look, sleep it off. Tomorrow morning, I'll pick you up and take you over to meet the man. Now, Rocky, this is big business. They don't come any bigger. Come in. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Cove, the uh, guy I told you about yesterday, well, he's my brother, Rocky. He's outside now. Bring him in. Oh, one more thing, boss. I told him that it was an up-and-up -up job. I'm not about to tell him any different. Come on in, Rock. Rocky, meet your new boss, Mr. Cove. Well, you know midget. Sure could use the work, Mr. Cove. You know where that truck tire warehouse is over on Santa Fe Avenue? Yes, sir, I load there once. Good. Job pays high if you do what we tell you. My brother Rocky can drive and load with the best of them and lick his weight in Wildcats. All right, Bertie, you show him the route. Here's a hundred dollars in advance for him. There you go, Rock. Gee, thanks, Mr. Cobb. Maybe you better count it, see it's all there. Uh, look, Rocky, come on, count it outside. Mr. Cobb's a busy man, you know. Come on. Sure, sure. Bye. I'll see you in a minute, Chief. just for loading and hauling. That's real money, Rocky. Look, you want the operation on your eyes, don't you? Sure, kid. And I'm mighty grateful, only... Only what? What are you griping about? I put $100 in your hand, and you're still not happy. What's the matter now? What? You said for me to bring my truck there tomorrow at 10, right? Tomorrow's Sunday. Funny day to be working on a Sunday. Look, do what I tell you to do, huh? What, are you afraid of missing church or something? Now, go ahead. I realize that's his favorite food, but since you went to the trouble to bring it, well, you could have put an extra leg. Just an introductory offer. The rest will be on the table tonight with corn muffins and honey and hot apple pie for dessert. As soon as you're off duty. You know, this is the first time I ever had a dinner invitation with a free sample in advance. That's not all, Mom, for dinner. Susan. You won't mind much, Uncle Wes. This one's real pretty. Wes, I swear to you, I had nothing to do with this. It, Wes, it's just that we needed a force for bridge. That Nancy Coles is quite attractive. But I promise you, you'll be very safe. She's no Delilah. <laughs> That's a good thing. I just got a haircut this week. He's in your custody, Skip. Don't be late. <laughs> just one thing you messed up on, Patty. I don't play bridge. <laughs>
show it to him, Bertie. Yeah, sure. Looks like the signature's one of our officers, all right. It's funny, he didn't get any orders to plant security. About to pick up? Well, it was a uh, rush order, and he didn't have the time. Oh, he must have, must have told somebody about it. Get away, you're out. I'll get an okay. Time when your missus tries to trap me into a blind date, my little alarm bell starts sounding off. Even before she gets the words out of her mouth. Today, she just weighs a piece of fried chicken in front of me and I'm hooked. You know the old saying, don't you? The quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Rescue response. Over on Santa Fe. A man's trapped in the tire warehouse. Well, you may be saved by a flat tire yet. Rocky, can you still hear me? I hear you, kid. All right, now listen. I called the fire department. They're coming to get you out. I'm going to stick here. And when they pull you clear, we'll make it out of here together. I don't know where the call came from. Maybe one of the other guys is going to fall. Rocky, I hear them. Here they come. Be quiet. Look at all the time these were running up outside. Maybe one of them wasn't. Any idea where to start? I'll take this by the top side and check around. Skip, you look around down here. We can't find him, we sure can't get him out. If a man was trapped in there, it would be just like hunting a human needle in a rubber haystack. I can 
hear you? If you're hurt bad, don't try to move. I'll get to you as soon as I can. like Skip to change my plans. Maybe he had a good reason, but I had a kind of hunch there was something he hadn't told me. Do you need me in there to give you a hand? No, it's too tight in there for more than two of us. You better send for an ambulance. My partner says the man that's trapped in there is in pretty bad shape. can open just about anything. But if we pried those stacks too wide, we might topple them down like poker chips. And that 
big fellow looked in no condition to be bounced off of the floor. When I was sitting in, in here, I thought I heard you talking to someone. Just repeating a few words of encouragement. An unconscious man? You just got winged in the leg. Think you can set up now? My leg? Can't hardly feel it. You will. And they dig the bullet out. But you're lucky it's in the fleshy part. It missed the bone. Pretty tough crawl out of here. If you can't make it, I don't know how far we can drag you. Might be better if you wait for a litter. You've got to try, Rocky. Once we're in the clear, I'll get you to the car. You've got to try, Rocky. You've got to. If you don't, they'll get us. How many years we could get for this? Yeah, enough, enough job, isn't it? I should have known, Bertie. Rocky, you needed the money. What other job could you have gotten? Standing on a corner like a stumble, but with a cup full of pencils? Go ahead, move. Move and I'll blow your head off. Get back there. All right, Rocky. I'll take care of these guys. Now, you can move, can't you? Yeah, I can move, Bertie. Okay, come on, move out. I never told him it was anything more than a legitimate job. Rocky, he's... he's square. He's too square sometimes. That's why he never got to become a champ. He was champ today, kid. Never back up. Here you go. Come on, Rocky. Let's go. Honey, we didn't plan to be so late. Now, I know this is going to sound kind of silly, but, well, Wes and I were delayed by a little tire trouble. You didn't believe me? Brother, 
Southern California gets all kinds of weather and all kinds of people. Both can cause plenty of trouble. Even the threat of a bursting dam spilling death down a canyon was not enough to drive an eccentric old big game hunter out of the home that was his stronghold. Join Skip Johnson and me in our next rescue when, in helping to evacuate a neighborhood in the path of a taunt, we unexpectedly become the hunted in flash flood. Another dynamic action story of Rescue 8.